Hey everyone, welcome back to Automate with Amit. This video is going to be very important because in life sometimes we make mistake or we ignore some of the very basic and important aspect of our career because of which we feel stuck or we feel frustrated day in day out in our career. So in this video, I am going to talk about one of the biggest mistake which I did during the start of my career and because of which I was feeling so much stuck and frustrated during the start of my career. So if you are starting your career now as an automation test engineer or you have already experienced working in the industry, then this video is going to be helpful. But before we begin, hi, my name is Amit Pathi and I have more than nine years of experience. And if you are watching this channel for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe the channel and let's start. So many of you may not be knowing that I also had started my career as a manual test engineer and eventually I got opportunity to work for a automation project where I was writing test scripts, I was executing them and then eventually I was also making sure if any particular test fails, I was maintaining them and if test fails because of the application failure, I need to identify the bug also, right? But that was the biggest problem which any automation tester does, which is not knowing the functionality of the application. See, automation is just a tool or nowadays, you know, AI is also there, right? And AI is going to help you perform the testing, but AI or automation is all about helping the testing process as a whole. So if you are weak in fundamentals or if you are ignoring the application knowledge, that is not going to help you perform good testing. So that was the biggest mistake I think I was making at that point of time because being an automation tester, you have to do a lot of work in maintaining test cases or executing them and uh, figuring out the reports and all those things. There are so much activities involved in automation itself where you don't find time to learn about the application or domain itself. So if you don't know the domain or you don't understand the application's functionality, you will always feel stuck. You will not be able to perform good testing because automation is going to help you test. But what to test and how to test, uh, you should be aware of that. And many of you may argue that, okay, writing test cases or knowing the functionality of application is job of manual tester. But let me remind you, giving the weapon or, you know, having tools is not going to help you unless you know how to use and when to use those tools or weapons, right? So similarly, automation or AI in a testing domain also is going to help you, but you have to understand what is the end-to-end -end flow of the application? What is the purpose of the application? You need to understand the domain of the application. What particular business it is solving? So you have to know all of this. And if you don't know all of that, then definitely you will struggle finding out the bugs. And as a tester, our bread and butter is to find issues in the application and find issues before customer finds it, right? So that is the biggest mistake nowadays also people make because as an automation test engineer you have to do a lot of things being uh, writing the test cases identifying the applications issues or identifying the flaky tests uh, or fixing them there are so much tasks all around right uh, to a automation test engineer which diverts them to the actual purpose of the automation testing so the actual purpose of automation testing is to find bugs or issues in the application as fast as you can. So if you are making mistake of ignoring the application functionality, ignoring the knowledge of the application or domain, then it is going to cause frustration or you may also feel stuck sometime in your career also. So make sure you don't make such mistakes because it is going to cause you frustration going ahead and you will feel stress in your career also because automation is definitely going to help you when you know the application's functionality. Because if any automation test fails, whether that is failing for good reason or bad reason. When I say good reason, that means automation test if fails because applications failure, that is the good reason to have test 
failed. But if your test fails because of bad reason and what those bad reason could be? Bad reason could be because test itself is flaky or test is failing because of environment issues or a part of applications issue any reason because of any reason if it is failing that's bad reason for test to fail so if you are also making this mistake to avoid or to ignore the application functionality i think you should not so let me know in the comment box whether you give time to learn the application also in your day-to-day -day task or day-to-day -day job and how much time do you give to learn the domain knowledge or the business of the application or applications uh, functionality basically so put that in the comment box and let's see how many of you are actually giving attention to the application functionality or business of the application okay and if you are make, making this mistake this video is for you not to make mistake related to the applications functionality or basic testing function fundamentals okay so i hope this helps and if you are new to the channel please make sure to subscribe it and if you found the content useful please press like button and share to your friends who are also making the mistake and they are also feeling stuck and frustrated who knows they are also making this mistake amit ripathi signing off